Today, I was reading the Wall Street Journal, yeah. which is one of the most legit newspapers in it's the world. It's a legit paper. Oh man, it's legit. And what I read there was astounding news for anyone who likes The Legend of Zelda series. Because what I read was... You read the Netflix thing. The Netflix thing. Yeah, yeah. Netflix is developing a live-action Zelda series, right? So the rumor goes. Yeah. 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 But what I read, it's more for the entire family. Yeah. So Game of Thrones meets Walt Disney or something. That's what an insider from Netflix says. To the Wall Street Journal. Why to the Wall Street Journal of all papers? Because that's a legit paper. That's, that's where true. you go with a legit story. <laughs> yeah. But do you believe it? Do you think it's actually coming true? They say they're working together with Nintendo, mm -hmm. right? So they, they, they've got their stuff together. But uh, Nintendo didn't deliver a lot of good series, right? No, they certainly didn't. Did you yeah. see in the, in the 80s? I mean, the Legend of Zelda cartoon series. Yeah, it only yeah. made it for like one uh, season. Yeah. And they were infamous for one particular quote, which is... Excuse me, princess! Everyone hated Link, mm -hmm. so that was kind of strange, you know? Yeah. And Link was this boring... Arrogant, lazy yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> he was this lazy American kind of teenager, you know? He wasn't anything like the Link we know from the Legend of Zelda series. No. So Nintendo also did the Mario series, right? Mm. They also made it one season, I think it Which was 93. Yeah, that live was action. live action, right? Yeah. To the Mario, take one step, one time to go. That was some legit shit, Tony. Nah. <laughs> that was the way it was. That was the, way, was the it way, way it was. It's a pretty bizarre rumor because Nintendo uh, most of the time doesn't do this kind no, of thing, you know? they don't. Um, they also didn't respond on the rumor. They no. say we, well, they just say we don't respond on Did rumors. Did respond so far? Um, I don't know, actually. Oh. It's interesting because the rumor came out 12 hours ago. It's uh, 10 o'clock now in Amsterdam, probably around midnight in, uh, in L L L LA. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Let's assume the rumors are true. Let's yeah. assume Netflix and Nintendo are going to create a Legend of Zelda series. Together. Yeah, for families. For families. Yeah, that, that's a weird kind yeah. of thing. But so they say it, it, it was Game of Thrones for families, right? So mm -hmm. you kind of expect something from that because a Game of Thrones is very large production, right? Yeah. So if, if they say something like that, you might think, well, there's going to go a lot of money in there. I think it's going to be a great series, especially because it's in the hands of Netflix, which has the biggest, best yeah. production value ever. Yeah. Well, together with HBO and, yeah. and sometimes FX, these companies know and how to make a series. And Discovery Channel. Yeah. Oh man, we love ourselves some Discovery Channel. But this new philosophy of making television series, you know, big production, cinematic style, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Of all the companies, who could they get that their hands on the Zelda franchise to make a series out of it? Netflix like, would do the job yeah. nicely. Best, I think. Certainly best. Uh, probably best. Yeah. So. I think there is not a lot of story in the Zelda series, right? Well, this is gonna get a lot of hatred that we're saying this. And I'm the biggest Zelda fan ever, but the storyline certainly isn't Zelda's best-selling point, no. regardless of what people say. It's, it's the gameplay, right? Yeah. Zelda's great about the world, the immersion, the gameplay, the ambience. That's ambience. all the ambience. If a game doesn't have ambience, I don't have the game. And if the game doesn't have a shotgun, I don't have the game. <laughs> the storyline of The Legend of Zelda is all over the place. Every game is uh, kind of like the same story. Princess gets lost, Link has to rescue the princess. And it's like a MacGuffin. It's not about the story, but the story is meant to set the adventure in motion. Don't you think the diehard Zelda fans are going to be pissed? Because in, in order to make the series good, Netflix has to add all these things to the Zelda series, which is not currently uh, Zelda, as you know. And it's sort of like an external injection of all that storyline. You have to get content for your series, right? So you have to make stuff up. And that's not really a problem in my opinion. It can be a nice thing to uh, get deeper into the Zelda universe. Yeah. But yeah, it's gonna be different. Hmm. It's gonna be legit. Legit. <laughs> it's certainly gonna be legit. <laughs> okay, one more thing. 
the news about the Zelda series in line with the other news from Nintendo, right? Yeah, because some, uh, some other stuff going on yeah. with the big end from Japan. Nintendo has always yeah. been very protective about their content. Yeah, right. Especially Nintendo was shut the fuck up. Nintendo was like the overprotective mother, you know, that couldn't send her child outwards to the play garden or any place. For instance, YouTube, because YouTubers are not allowed to use Nintendo yeah. content. Nintendo uh, made a whitelist, and if you yeah. a whitelist of games, games that are. Uh, they accept you to play as YouTuber. To really? A whitelist? Yeah. And yeah. all the bad games are not on there, right? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, ridiculous. You can get a contract with Nintendo and you say, yeah, I'm, I want to play your games. And they only take 60% of the income. Of the advertising revenue. Yeah, yeah uh, exactly. But it's a strange thing because a lot of YouTubers say, uh, we, we make advertising for your product, right? But Nintendo is making first steps to open their product. Yeah, for the yeah. world. Yeah, you see that they are loosening up a little bit about what other people can do with their stuff. Which is a good thing, I guess. Maybe they're like, yeah, we're gonna sell our games anyway, so why give YouTubers a chance to rape our content? Yeah, but nobody is gonna rape their content because their games are fucking great. Yeah. So what is Nintendo to be scared about? What, what does happen when you post gameplay footage on YouTube from Nintendo? Well, let's find out. Here is 10 seconds of Super Mario Kart. And always remember, as written on this wall, as a final touch, God created the Dutch. Oh, this gives me so many memories. I played it on first time on the, just on the computer. Oh yeah, Windows 95. Um, probably best Windows ever made, man. Best Windows, best ever, Windows made. ever made. Still using it. Yeah, <laughs> it's my main, my main OS. <laughs>